Hi, so this is a quick video on how to use the argument mapping extension from Calido. A quick recap of what an argument map is. It's a simple way of visualizing any argument. So look at this argument that I have over here about different industries that may see an increase in revenue during an economic recession. This green box right here is the conclusion, which says the dating apps are likely to see a revenue spike during economic distress. I then have these blue boxes, which are my premises. These are the premises which lead to me, which lead me to my conclusion. The gray boxes that I have here are factual evidence that back up the premises that I've got here. Everything in orange is an opposing claim, so it's something that opposes the view that I've put forward. And these blue dashed lines are unstated or hidden premises. So now you know the anatomy of an argument map, let's look at how we can use the browser extension to build your own argument map. So right here, you launch it from your browser and label it whatever you'd like. And as you start looking at sources on the internet, let's say today we're going to look at uh, how technology can be used to improve contact tracing. So my conclusion is going to be that technology can be used to improve contact tracing and slow down the pandemic. I'm now going to go look for evidence to back up this claim. So as I go here, I might find a snippet here that's supporting what I've got as my conclusion. And I add this to my map as a supporting premise. When I go back, you can see that it's grabbed that part of the text that I was interested in as a supporting premise, along with the source and the date in which I've accessed this. Now, if I'd like to add a hidden premise, I just right click, add a hidden assumption, and make a note of it right here. Similarly, I could be reading a different source, and from that source itself, I can snip whatever I find interesting. Right click, go to the argument mapper, and add it to my map as an opposing claim. So again, I have this information right here. It's got where I picked it up from, the data facts as, and I add it as an opposing claim. So the huge benefit of using this tool is that when you're reading different sources, as you go along, you can pick out what's interesting, snip it, it records for you automatically where you got it from and the date in which you accessed it, and you can synthesize the arguments as you go along to see how different pieces of information relate to each other. So that's a quick overview of how to use the argument map.